Good morning, guys. Last night was an experiment. There was nothing wrong with the video. I just want to say thank you to all of my supporters. Thank you to all of the people who've been duking it up with the dissenters. Kind of going back to last night, I'm feeling like Trump. But uh, half the country doesn't hate me. Half the country doesn't even know who I am. But I wanted to talk to you guys about what we're getting ready to do. We're getting ready to bring the Hustlers Kung Fu brand back. And with that, we're gonna bring back some new training. One of the things that I've discovered with my corporate paper students is a lot of people don't have that first business started. So we're going to start on that training plus a whole lot more. Also, the link is below. Now, Hustlers Kung Fu University, the pricing is not going to change. It's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. You can go ahead and get in there. And one of the things I'm going to do is create a hoodie. Um, for Hustler, I'm gonna do a brand new one. I gotta find the designer to do the design, freshen it up a little bit, so we will see. Uh, I'll probably work on that today. So everyone that joins Hustler's Kung Fu University is gonna get a hoodie. And once I get that together, I'll let you guys know. Also, guys, I've been in the building nine, nine days and I'm already macking. The girl in the elevator, I ran into her again. And I said this, it's like, you have the most delightful personality. And she's like, well, thank you. So we should get to know each other. Let's go out tonight. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. And the kid is already macking in the building. Already macking. Uh, I put a picture of my ex up in the community section. And I'm going to put a picture of this chick in the community section. A lot of guys in the manosphere who talk about getting women never show any pictures, I wonder why. But guys, we're getting ready to do some stuff because uh, I got a, peop a group of determined haters. They're just like, we're, we're gonna keep this going. You deleted the video. And once again, I did not delete the video. And let's talk about that. I didn't want that video deleted. YouTube deleted that video. You want, you want to know why they want that video deleted? That video was getting me so much traffic at the Lost Kings, it was ridiculous. I had videos that had like 700 views that went up to seven, 8,000 views. So the good thing about that is that channel is now monetized. I got it monetized in six weeks. So that's cool and we could get ready to get into some more training there. But once again, let me just go ahead and say it from the bottom of my little, little hustler's kung fu heart, thank you. Shout out to Roger Allen, Allen Roger Curry. Shout out to Ron Will. Shout out to Edward Anderson. Shout out to Mr. Lucario. Cause this is something that I have seen during this whole ordeal. There's a group of people who did not turn on me. And there are some people who did turn on me. And once again, I never met them and I never really tried to collaborate with them. And at the end of the day, they're not on my level. None of these people are on my level. Because let's talk about mental strength, right? Now, 12 years ago, if this had happened, I would have been crushed. Now, I just don't give a damn. Because see, there's my online life and there's my offline life. And I am really digging my offline life because my, you know, your life is over. It'll never be the same again. Gee, my life has gotten better. <laughs> My life has gotten a lot better, really. So uh, we're going to bring back the Hustlers Kung Fu brand. We've changed the name of Savage Finance to Savage Money. 
We're going to enroll with the Lost Kings and we're going to get into a lot of training and leveling people up because we're going to start to groom people because let's go ahead and talk about getting you your first business and that right there is pivotal i made a mistake when i built the corporate toolbox i made a mistake when i built the corporate papers that was stuff that is more in line for people who have businesses who are already making money for the rank beginner it's too much so i'm still selling the corporate papers but i would advise you to have a business to have some cash flow before you get into the corporate papers now hustlers university this is where you want to go to learn how to hustle because you know this channel was super big about hustling super big about hustling uh super big about cash flow doing things and ironically I have sold a lot of stuff on Craigslist. Now, everyone that's running over the Facebook Marketplace, I have some stuff on Facebook Marketplace. I actually sold a lot of stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Now, I'm selling a lot of stuff on Craigslist. I've reactivated an old eBay account. I'm selling stuff on eBay. And we're going to talk about that because I'm going to teach you how to resell. That's one of the things we're going to get into because I realize that many of you really don't care about what kind of business you get into. Now, I, once again, I'm on a different level. I'm on a different level. And for me, I would never start a business that I don't like or I'm not interested in. But I'm already rich. It's a different game. Because I have spent half a million dollars on this car rental business but I still have cash flow coming in from other businesses, so I'm able to be here on the 14th floor. Let me tell you about that. Uh, looking for a penthouse in Atlanta right now is kind of hard. I know that sounds crazy, because they're not cheap. And um, many, one building I looked at, I decided to pull the trigger, and even before I can even look at the apartment, they said it was gone. So what is happening is there are people in this building with Bentleys, Rolls Royces, Mercedes, Porsche. There's a lot of wealth in this building. And I think there's like 350 units. And when I came here, they only had six open. Six from now to the rest of the year, six. So one of the things I want you guys to understand is I want to teach you guys how to hustle. Let's kind of go way, 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 way back. Way, way back. Let's go back to the storage auction days. Storage auction days, I was out there hustling. I wasn't rich. I was well paid. And I feel that I need to revisit that period in my life to help you guys. Because I'm going to make an, uh, a confession here, man. I am out of touch with the average man. On an intellectual standpoint, I know the average man is catching hell. But on a personal, primal, spiritual level, I have no clue to what the average man is going through. I have no clue. I, I, I don't know. And you know, guys kind of like put down what you're going through, what, how hard is it for you? Put in the comments what you're going through, put in the comments what you want to aspire to. Because uh, one of the things like yesterday was a heavy, heavy car day, heavy, heavy car day. Um, once again, young black men are messing up my cars like you wouldn't believe. Like the Porsche blew out the tire and he broke the window switch. And you couldn't go out and replace the switch. You had to go out and get the whole little unit. And fortunately for me, it was plug and play. 
let's pop that one out and then pop the new unit in and we were good to go. But one of the reasons that I showed you guys the, the really bad part of the car rental business, like no one on YouTube has ever shown you, is I wanted to show you guys the reality of starting a business. In the beginning, it's going to be shitty. The beginning, it's gonna be rough. In the beginning, it's gonna be stupid. And this month is trending toward to be my most, the highest earning month, not my most profitable month, but the highest earning month, probably 22, maybe 20, just depends on what happens this weekend. So I'm showing you that to show you the reality of starting a business so that you can mentally adjust to where you need to be because um, once again, I'm not mentioning names, I'm not, but there are many YouTubers that will have you believe that starting a business is super easy and you're, the cash is just gonna come in. And that's just not the case. That's just not the case. And I want to position you guys so that when this happens, you don't freak out. You go into it knowing what you're getting yourself into. You go into it knowing what's going on. You go into it with an educated perspective on starting a business. Now, so what we're gonna be doing is some challenges. I'm not ready for the challenges yet. I got to spell them out, write them down, and get the stuff situated so I can go ahead and bring the challenges to you. So look out for that. Um, no, this month ends Sunday. So we might roll into November. Also, this is going to happen. Sundays is going to be beginning business owner training. And during the week, I'm going to do an advanced training for people who already have businesses, people who already have cash flow, who want to expand and grow their business. So it's going to be two training sessions a week. Now, the training session for the beginners is gonna be available to the Hustlers Kung Fu University students. And if you're in the corporate papers, you're gonna have access to both trainings. If you're in Hustlers University, you're just gonna have access to the beginning training on Sundays. Uh, I like Sundays. You know, a lot of people who are beginning Hustlers have jobs. So since they have jobs, they really cannot attend a training in the middle of the day like I can. So we're gonna have two trainings per week. Hopefully today is Wednesday, so hopefully we can get that cooking Thursday or Friday. So we're gonna have that training, and then we're gonna get into the YouTube training. We're gonna get into a lot of training, a lot of stuff. And also, one of the things that I'm seeing from my YouTube experiment, it went really, really well. I know many of you are like, what? Everyone knows who I am now. And I was trying to take advantage of that attention by putting up content and it was starting to work. Then YouTube deleted the video. I believe if YouTube hadn't deleted that video, it would be to like three, maybe half a million views. And I'm like, damn, but they deleted it. So one of the things I'm gonna get ready to do is to start really leveling up people. Now, what do I mean by that? First of all, Let's talk about the change over at Savage Finance to Savage Money. It's gonna be more credit focused, it's gonna be more money focused, and we may even get into some investments. I do have investments, I just don't talk about them because here's the thing, guys. Me talking about my investments at my level is not going to help you. It's not gonna help you. I mean, 
let's take the car rental business. I invested half a million dollars in the car rental business. And the 99, 99.9% .9 of the people who are watching this channel don't have $500,000 just laying around to invest in any business. So that makes no sense for me to talk about that on a level of, hey, this is what I'm doing, maybe you can do it too, because I know you, you can. You can't do it. So the training is going to be more earthy, more grounded, because like I said, I'm going back to before I had money, because this is what's funny. You know, when I was on the lead attorney and they were asking me and you have all this money. You know, when I was doing the Craigslist protocols really, really hard, I didn't have this kind of money. And I'm, I'm like, I'm kind of really picky about who I date. I'm kind of picky about who I slide my dick up in, you know? And uh, I'm currently dating four women. One of them, she's rich. And my new little friend here, I don't know what she, actually, I don't know what she does. I didn't even ask her. I have no clue to what she does. I know she's doing well, whatever it is, but, so we're gonna get into a different level of training. We're gonna get into a lot more stuff, but there may be another video about the one we will not mention his name, because I'm getting a lot of information that people are thinking that he's a fraud. I mean, we will see, we will see. Because this is what's wild, right? With all this attention that I got, no one is saying that I'm a scammer. No one is, no, I mean, everyone's like looking at my background with a fine tooth comb and all they can come out is, he like to have sex with children. They keep saying this lie because I've never had sex with a child. I'm not attracted to children, you know? So we're going to get ready to do some stuff. So you want to get into Hustlers University. Now, one of the things I'm gonna do is for everyone that gets into Hustlers University, once you finish Hustlers University and you wanna move over to the corporate papers, just send me and my assistant an email and we will send you a coupon taking what you paid off for Hustlers University off the price of the corporate papers. Or maybe, you know, you wanna get into the YouTube training. And the YouTube training, let, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the robe wearing dude. And let's talk about the lead attorney. They're entertainers. They're entertainers. And if you can become a solid entertainer, because the lead attorney, um, aside from what the bullshit he did to me, he is an entertainer and he has a following. He's got the, the little lighting, he's got the, the little horn and all this other stuff. And people really like that because people want to be entertained. I, on the other hand, am not an entertainer. I am an educator, big difference. So when you become an educator, and if you really, really get good with being an educator, whatever you're teaching people, you can make way more money than entertainers. I make more money than Graham Stephan. He makes more YouTube money than I do, but I make more money overall than he does. So one of the things that we're going to talk about is creating these kind of channels because uh, there's so much money out here because with the global reset literally around the corner, it's already happening because once all this stimulus money gets out the economy, because you're, you're starting to see the economy because uh, this week, I had to turn off a lot of cars. I woke up one morning, I had 10 people late. I just started turning off cars. I went and got two yesterday. Uh, today, I got some more situations to deal with because I don't understand people will have your car, not pay you, and they, they don't want to bring it back. They refuse to bring it back. So I actually have to go get it. I have to roll up on people like Devo. I'm like, dude, you're not paying me. And this is one of the things I found out. Typically, um, people 
will mess up your car. There will be damage, there will be issues, they will mess up your car if for some reason that they don't pay you, it will become a big issue. So one of the things I want you guys to understand about business and managing it, because like, I feel that November is gonna be an amazing month for the car rental business. I feel December is gonna be an amazing month. And in January, I'm gonna start buying cars again. And I'll be talking about that journey on here on YouTube and for the corporate citizens, because now that I have a firmer grasp, because I went into this thing, just jumped in. I just jumped in. And I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I thought it would be a good exercise for me to start a business using my principles to show you guys that they actually work. And once again, you know, um, the car business this month would have made $100,000 in six months. So it's about utilization. It's not about how many cars you have. It's about how many cars you can consistently rent. That is the key. And that's one of the reasons that I stopped buying cars because currently at the moment, I've got two cars. I got three cars. I got four cars in the shop. I got four cars in the shop. I've got one BMW, two, three sh cars over there. I got a Range Rover getting brakes. Yeah, I have four cars in the shop and I have Ten. I, I'm not really sure. I know I got three cars that are wrecked. One car is in the body shop, but three cars that are wrecked. Then I have the Acura, the white BMW, the black BMW, the white X5, Range Rover, and the Lamb. So I currently have. maybe 12 cars? I don't know, I don't know. But essentially, I've got 20 cars rented. And the reason that I have certain cars I don't have them rented, because they're in the shop. But once I get those three cars out and I get the Mercedes back, I should have three cars, the two Camrys and the BMW wrecked. So that will give me access to 28 cars that I can rent out. Uh, one car, oh, this is something else too. I'm getting ready to get rid of some cars. This is something that's consistently happened. Since I have BMWs, and people know I have BMWs and Range Rovers, I will get someone who will rent this Acura, and this Acura has come back seven times. It's like, I'm in the Acura. Do you have one of the BMWs? They keep bringing it back, so I am selling the Acura. I'm getting rid of it, because it's been wrecked. <laughs> I mean, that car was in amazing condition when I bought it, but now it's uh, I can get about $8,000, 8, and I'll just take that money and pay off the corporate credit card, and so I'm probably gonna get rid of three to five cars. And just because once again, it's about utilization. It's not about how many cars you have. So I will get rid of those and I will begin to work. And I'll walk through this whole process. And my goal is to get this credit repair agency going. You know, once again, like I said, yesterday was a super heavy car day. I mean, from eight o'clock in the morning, me and my assistant was until six, just dealing with cars and nothing else. But hey, once again, guys, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for rocking with me. And there might be another role, a video about the roadware because I'm seeing, like I said, I'm seeing a lot of stuff and these guys are not getting an attention. And I may just do a video to drive attention to their videos because they're going in on Anton. They're going on on it. And once again, I am a, I'm a real rich person. I'm not a fake rich person. It, it's kind of funny. Because like, I will say, 
One of my reasons I decided not to work with him was I saw inconsistencies between what he was saying because he was tripping over himself several times. And when I see that, I'm like, eh, I ain't messing with that. But once again, we, we, we're gonna be rocking and rolling. The content's gonna start again since now that I am, I'm home. You know, this is really interesting. Like, oh, the sun is coming up over there. The sun is coming up. And I love this view. I love this view, because uh, if I transition out of this unit, I'm gonna have the view is dope. And once again, I'm having so much fun here. I am having so much fun. And it, it reminds me, like I lived in the million dollar neighborhood, right? And the house was great and living, but I didn't know my neighbors. I've met like 40 people since I've been, I've only been here nine days, 10 days. I've met 40 people. Uh, I already know someone down the hall. I know where they live. We've been introduced. I'm probably gonna go visit them. And I'm just like, I'm having a ball. <laughs> the ball, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's cool as shit. So I'm going to bring some more of that energy to some of the things, and uh, I'm probably going to I'm probably going to start making a ton of videos, ton of videos. So just get ready for that because we're going to level up together. We're going to rock out because I want you know. Let's talk about this global reset. All right, guys, you got to start making money. Like all of these people who are coming on this channel to say these disparaging things, they weren't raised right. I know that video upset a lot of people, but there's a lot of people who were raised right, who were normal. They're not coming to this channel saying this stuff. It is the broke, the miserable, the people, that segment of America that's going to get reset. I keep, I'm starting to just like enjoy the decline because you're focused on the wrong thing. You want to come to this channel and talk smack? versus working on your life? Really? Okay. I see where it's gonna happen to you. Like right now, I am seeing so many people who are gonna get reset because they're, they're not building anything. They're not contributing to society. They're not making anything. So it, it's, it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be really, really wild. It's been really interesting. And then there's another building over there that they're building. But yeah, it is cool. So we're, we're gonna rock out, we're gonna do great things, we're gonna build people, we're gonna, set, we're gonna set the world on fire. We're gonna start cooking with gas. So once again, thank you to all of the people who support Lyndon Cameron. Thank you, I really appreciate you. You guys, like, I've seen some great stuff. Like, folks have been duking it up in the comments. And to all of my haters, why do so many people like you? I don't like you when you make this video. You don't know why people like me? Because I've contributed to their lives and you have not done shit for them. You want them to join you in their little merry band of hate. And you know, it's kind of funny. Like I've seen people kill, well, I've not seen anyone kill anyone, but I've seen murderers on trial and this person kills someone and there's no hate for the drug dealers. I, it's just kind of funny. But I really don't think that they hate me because I got some young pussy. I don't think that's it. They hate me because I'm more, way more successful than they will ever be. That's where the hate's coming from. That's where the hate's coming from. That's what I see because it's like he made that video, he did all this other stuff, and this, this fool living well? Hell no. We need to cancel Glendon Cameron, right? Good luck with that because <laughs> I'm the management. So you can you bring your complaints to the management, right? And I'm gonna tell you to go fuck yourself, you stupid, dumb fuck. That's what the management's gonna tell you. So once again, if you're not in Hustlers Kung Fu University, you should get in there and I'm gonna do another video talking about all the things you're gonna get. And uh, yeah, so have a good day, it's the morning. Enjoy yourselves, be productive, go out and do the things you need to do to be successful. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.